Hello people of YouTube, welcome back. This is Triskadeki here with Enter the Gungeon. Today I'm going to be doing a Marine run. I want to try to do a little bit of a focused run. Marine's special ends up being a little bit nice. The gun training I believe it is. Let me double check what it's called. That is military training. So memories of years of training, better reload speed, better weapon accuracy, which can be very nice. A fast reload and an accurate shot can of course end up getting you some extra wins. You know, if you're hitting things, you're doing damage. If you're doing damage, you're going to win. And he does. He ends up with more hits slash less time not shooting. Mind where I am. I'm going to try to keep track of like my general vicinity. So what I mean by that is anything that kind of comes within like my small range of vision. Now as you can see he doesn't deal a lot of damage from his shots. After all it was like three shots to take out a grenade. But one of the nice things being he's always shooting and he pretty much always hits. That means less shakiness. I don't know if we'll do that. So that's the D20. Which can be nice, can be bad, can be pretty much nothing for us at our current level. Keep going. Also, in essence, he starts with, you know, essentially like one more hit than anyone else. Which, it's always nice to be able to have a little bit of extra resistance. Get some extra casings, which is always nice. Uh, blue, I will do. That is table tech blank. So, what happens is, flips are blanks. Which can be very nice. As you know, I don't really use table cover as much as I probably should be using it. And done. So since I don't use tables as much as I probably should be using them, I don't mind having an item like that. Because I'm a little reluctant to use blanks to begin with. I don't know why, just kind of how I am personally. And you do have to be careful. The knights have such an inane spread on their shot. Like, it'll actually end up curving around the walls, which is kind of ridiculous, to be honest. I'm not sure how they're curving their bullets like that, but hey, good on them. I want to drag everyone into this back corner here so that way all of the shots are coming from one point and then we'll circle around and he's gone there's two we don't need the health right now which is always nice and the longer you go without damage the better we'll open it up and then there's probably a chest or something down here, so we'll go this way. I honestly did not even see that ghost. This is one of the reasons why you kind of always want to be moving. And a lot of times moving into the center of the room is both good and bad. I mean, this is kind of what I discussed about before, where if you're holding yourself against a wall, you know where things are coming from, but there's a higher chance of you taking damage. If you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, there's a higher chance of you just receiving damage from the back. I mean, as you can see, when I'm pointing and aiming at something, I point and aim. It's done. I can't really see anything behind me. They did make it so that when you focus in one direction, you are focused. It's kind of interesting because you kind of end up with tunnel vision, which is hard to imagine that you would get in a... Oh, we have to get a potion of gun friendship. Which is kind of hard to imagine that a top-down shooter like this would end up with tunnel vision. And that will come up. Let's go. 
1K. Bolt Brothers. So you want to try to focus all of your shots on one guy, as stated before. I do like picking up the side kills. Anything extra kind of adds to the randomness of how they fire, which obviously is not good. You don't want any sort of extra shots coming in. Good. Thank you. So as you can see, I have been. I've pretty much been completely focused on the one brother, which he's almost dead. Very nice. I was pretty sure I was going to take damage there just because of a dumb dodge. Okay, good. And we're out. Okay. I probably shouldn't be dodging to him because he has that rush attack which can end up causing a lot of damage. This one right there. He can clear a lot of space with that and especially when you get to like this zone. There's so much little bit of area that it'll end up messing you up a lot. There's that. So as you can see, I have been practicing. I mean, I am getting better at dodging and better at avoiding damage. I am having a bit of a facial expression when I do it. I hate the Desert Eagle. Crap gun. Uh, so there was a blue chest that we did not pick up, which should be a gun. So I will definitely get it. I would enjoy having a blue chest. Let's see. And it is the trash can. Hmm. So what I may end up doing is I may destroy, especially if I get a brown chest on the next level, I may destroy it. The reason for that is I found out that there are gun synergies. What I mean by this is some items will respond to each other. For instance, if you have the trash gun, when you have junk in your inventory, you deal more damage. I don't know if it stacks, like the more junk you have, the more damage you deal, but it is nice to know that there are kind of gun synergies. I should be using the blank a bit more, uh, the flip I mean, because the blank is going to be very useful. As you saw, it did clear out a nice portion of space for us. Done. 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 And bye. An extra blank is always nice. I'll always take it. Thank you. I do love that room. Like, I do love that about this room, that you have that, like, one brief moment of kind of, I kill everything. Just use the basic gun to take those out. Ugh, sorry, my nose always ends up itching when I play this game. There's that. And done. Make sure I dodge those. He's done. And make sure that I avoid the bouncing bullets. Watch out for all these shots. I've ended up dying because of stupid shots like that. I do hate how with this enemy in particular, the bullets do not clear even when he's gone. I had nowhere to go. Just focus up, don't take such dumb damage, sink it back because I don't want to get trapped in his shot. I probably should have used the potion of gun friendship on that room, and I completely forgot that I had it. One of the nice things being that we did get a blank and a key out of it, 
which means we are fairly set for the boss battle. Like, I should not be taking damage on the boss battle. Although, getting to the boss battle is apparently a pain. Hello? Okay, bye. I didn't even see that enemy there. Okay. We will look around a bit more because I haven't found any of the chests. I probably should be starting a room with this. So I did use the potion there, just because I didn't want to take such unnecessary damage. Hopefully we will have we will have it up in time for the boss fight. What? I have never seen them slide. I didn't even know they could do that. So now we have even faster reloads. To give you an example, yeah, we're done. We will pretty much always be shooting with certain guns. Which a lot of times this can completely alter your choice in gun. Like now that we have something that's such a steady DPS output, I don't know what I'll use as far as the boss fight. Uh, the snowballer. Yes. So the snowballer will now be a fully automatic gun. Um, no. This one. This and this. Okay. Good. Do I want to trade health for damage? Does it take my blank heart, or does it take a full heart? I don't know. One of the things that you will note too, um, explosions do actually clear shots. There you go. Done. And done. In this room, we have two more of these. I find it interesting that they float, apparently. I don't know what they are. Hmm, another blue one. Because that would be a blue gun, which definitely wouldn't pass up. We don't have that good of a gun yet. We don't have the keys for it though. So I suppose what I'll do is I'll do the boss. If we get a gun, that'd be great. If we don't, oh well. It is the ammo condo. Okay, so What? It was still spawning! <sighs> that was so annoying. I ended up taking damage because it hadn't completely spawned in yet. I didn't see that it was there. And I just walked into it. We'll have another potion of gun friendship soon, which obviously when we do that, it'll take off another significant chunk of his damage. Uh, hold on. Uh, nose, what is wrong with you? This is not the time. Yeah. 
Ooh, the ache. Okay. So, we will destroy this one. Oh my god, that is so far away. Go to this point. Dude. Oh, crap! He is a mimic. Did not expect this to be a mimic. Okay, so that happened. Pulse cannon. Time of death. Sounds promising. Pretty sure I've had this one before, right? Yeah, this was the little shotgun one. Uh, we should actually, hold on. Yes, I know I just came from there. Let me go back, make sure. No, nothing there. I'm being lazy about it, I'm just checking the uh, normal rooms. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay. Yeah, I figured I would just check the normal rooms, see if there's uh, any sort of special items, I mean, uh, secret rooms for there. I figured we had the three blanks, might as well check. Down again! We have a fairly good build as far as weapons are concerned. Let me see. How is the pulse cannon? No, pulse cannon is not that good here. Oh right, he is immune to poison. Most of these things are. Um, I don't know. We don't have a very good room clear yet. So I'm just kind of watching what I'm doing, where he is, and going from there. And done. Done. And you're done. Wow. So yeah, even the normal bullets don't die to this gun, which is not good at all. Like generally, charge guns end up being more about trying to conserve your ammo. You know, you're trying to give off one big shot that deals damage to them. And when you're dealing something like this, that's not a good sign. Luckily we were able to force him back. Good. Nope. That's an interesting moving pattern. Done. So I will start using Potion of Gun Friendship a bit more. Just because we are. We're getting to a point now where we're not dealing much damage, actually. Um, I mean, I could go into, like, the vertebrae. Come on. No, come here. Like, the vertebrae with Potion of Gun Friendship is going to be ridiculously strong if we use it that way. Come on. But I don't know if I want to do that. I suppose right now, funny enough, the Marine Sidearm is still our best, like, basic gun room. Uh, basic room gun, I mean. Like, the fact that it's dealing damage so fast, you know, very small reload time. There is one behind me. <sighs> what? No, I definitely should have been able to dodge that. I hate how slow these characters move sometimes. Like, without a nice speed up, you end up taking some stupid damage at times, where... The bullets are moving just fast enough that I couldn't dodge it. Mm. 
but this is kind of one of the troubles that you run into if you don't have a good room clear. Our damage for... Don't waste a table. Our damage for actually fighting things as far as bosses is fairly good. We have some nice weapons that are fairly fast shots and fairly good DPS. But when we go into just casual rooms, I'm having to take a long time, which means I'm going to end up taking a lot of excessive damage. Oh, cool. Thank you. You killed yourself. Not a mimic again, are you? I don't care about this room. So we'll go over here. There's two. There's three. And this is why I said the one table tech blank is actually really nice. Did we find the shop? We have not found the shop yet. So we'll keep going until we find the shop, then we'll come back. And don't be afraid of dodging into things. See, like, this room gets kind of excessive. Like, you end up with so many things on the floor. That... Okay, so we have to take the long way around, apparently. You end up with so many things on the floor that you're not sure how to dodge it. Luckily, these guys have a bit slower of a shot. Because this way we'll circle back into the shop. I mean, I want to see if I can find a key for sale. And I will switch to a stronger weapon with you. Let's see. I will admit, it has a very nice damage output. Now, what do we want ammo for? The snowballer was nice. The vertebrate is okay. Pulse cannon. I think we will go... Vertebrae. Let me see. No, we'll do the snowballer. We will probably do the vertebrae next. Like, next ammo drop that we get. Winchester is always nice. So we'll go back here, pick up this key, get the one green chest that we saw earlier. Hopefully it's something useful. I wouldn't mind a good passive or a good room clear. Those are kind of my two focuses. Now when I do say room clear, I'm not sure if people understand what I mean. Something that kind of... Ooh, space turtle! I just unlocked him while I was doing the practice stuff. What I mean by room clear is that something that deals like a high shot, high ammo clip, lots of ammo. You need something that can take out a lot of things, so it either has high ammo that kind of moves quickly. Uh, we will try the vertebrae first. Okay. Dreadnought. No! Come on! That's terrible! Where, where are you? He's stuck! Oh, come on! This is BS. Let's go! Am I just gonna let the turtle do everything for you? 
Okay. Thank you. I cannot take damage though. There you go. We cleared the dreadnought. I totally should have flawless him, but when he did, when he got stuck, it kind of threw me off. Which is very odd to say. The BSG. Where was the cage? I guess it's over this way? If I remember correctly, this is an extremely powerful gun. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So what this is, is I don't have to aim when I'm using this. Aiming because becomes completely irrelevant. Come on. I kind of like don't want to go too far because the rat will get the items. No. This is mine. Thank you. And one more. And over. I don't know. I don't really see it as that big of a weapon to be using against like normal enemies. Like um it's kind of a big room clearer, as weird as that is. I don't know if he could die in that portion, like with him being frozen like this. I don't know if he can die when he's like that. One of the nice things about the snowballer is the fact that it deals a slowing thing to them as well. And bye. And bye. We will take that key, definitely. So, I don't know, I think I may use the snowballer as a room clearer now. This is the run. Yeah, we have junk, so I will destroy this. Hopefully we get junk. No, we got half heart, but I can still use half hearts. Luckily we got a key. And we unlocked Map Man. So with that we can take off, right? Yeah. We can pick up our key which I apparently didn't pick up. I will take the snowballer out because that's what we'll be using from this point forward and we will be heading down to the next level. Chink. I love the little animation. So this is the hollow. I don't know if I've ever actually been here on this, like on video. There's a lot more enemies as you can see. Take the ammo, and we will keep going. Nope. And just goodbye. Like, this is the nice thing of the, uh, BSG. The big shooty gun, which is a reference to the BFG, if you are, don't know. It just demolishes everything, which ends up being so nice. <laughs> so what that is, is occasionally on certain rooms, the Reaper will spawn. If he spawns, you cannot kill him. He dies when everything else dies. I will not use it for this room. Because with this room, the fact that we have something like this, I'd rather just use ammo. There's not enough enemies in here for me to justify using the BSG. We will definitely take note of that. The proton pack is nice, the ammo is also extraordinarily nice. So 
What I'm going to do is on focused rooms, like those smaller rooms, I will use the snowballer. Huh, I don't know if they can catch the snowballers. I know what those enemies do is while you're shooting, they will catch your bullets and throw them back at you. I do not know if they can catch snowballs. What did it take damage from? And we will go back to the side arm. Because these guys are literally trash throwaway mobs. Come on. No, get away from me. Get away! I'm getting a little confused by the turtle's shots. Snowballer. There it is. Okay, two dead. But yeah, one of the nice things about this gun is the fact that since it's slowing everything down, bye. I will go back here. Think your aim is true? Break the price it when applies. They call me Winchester. And for you, I have a simple game of skill. Would you like to know the rules? I think I got it. Break the target for win a prize. Let's do it. So a lot of times you would think this is a lot easier than it is. Sometimes it is. Sometimes not so much. Let's see. There we go. that one done. And this one goes through here, I think it is. The carnival music sounds so weird. Come on, stop walking. Occasionally, I don't know how many other people get that, where the Xbox controller will just kind of walk you. Come on, stay. There we go. Not bad, take this. We got a ghoul chest, good. We got the old goody, uh, old goldie, sorry, for the discerning. I don't remember how this one is. Seeing as how I don't like these enemies, goodbye. There you go. Alien sidearm, not a bad weapon. Not what we're using, but not a bad weapon. <laughs> so this is actually one of the special items. As you can see, there is no way to get across. You essentially have to get one of three items. Either the grappling hook, the... Is it the grappling hook? I forget what the other two. Uh, Icarus wings, or... Um, Jetpack. I'm actually kind of curious. Let me see how much weapon, how much damage the BSG does against these. And it may be a applicable way. Jammed. Yeah, that was really bad. It was jammed statues. I was pretty scared. But with that, that will be a Gungeon Run. We got down. We actually saw one of the enemies. So that is very nice. The Book of Chess Anatomy. I would like to thank you, YouTube. Thank you for watching. Take care. See ya.